Hello, I'm going to show off this uh, Nixie Tube Shield that I designed to fit on the uh, Raspberry Pi. I have it set up here. This is the shield on top, the Pi is on bottom. Uh, I have an external high voltage power supply here producing about 170 volts. Powered off of uh, 12 volt from a wall wart. Comes out the output here, goes in these green wires down into the bottom of the board. So let's take a look at uh, the Nixie tubes. These are IN12 tubes. Currently have a little Python program running that lets me set the output. For example, I can uh, scroll some digits across the tubes. Um, I can scroll all the digits on the tubes. I can display something fixed. Or I can run a counter. can also have it display waiting a second waiting wait there we go it's also currently displaying the temperature and humidity 83.0 degrees 37.0 degrees that it's retrieving from my security system I'm going to replace these two tubes here with a uh, F for Fahrenheit and and H for humidity, and then turn on the decimal points. That'll be another step. Back into counting mode, and let's uh, take a look at it, and I'll describe a little bit about the board. Okay, let me unplug the high voltage supply. Unhook. Board, unhook the Raspberry Pi's Ethernet and uh, USB. Can you see this on screen well enough? Yeah. So here you can see. I'm actually going to pause this and put a light on. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, circuit board in depth. Unplug it. I use the uh, standard stacking header for the Raspberry Pi on the bottom. I offset the stacking header just a little bit because I wanted a little more clearance between the uh, USB jack and the high voltage down here. It's actually a little bit warm. Uh, over here is where we've got uh, 5 volt and ground on this header and uh, the high voltage comes in on that header. There's a couple test points here I put in it so I can short those and make a decimal point turn on. Uh, what else is there to see on this? I use uh, shift registers, so I, I have another YouTube video that discusses breadboarding all this out and uh, setting it up with shift, shift uh, registers and uh, K155 uh, Nixie drivers. So the shift registers to fit everything on here, I had to go surface mount, so these are 75 or 74 HCT 595 surface mount shift registers, total of four of them. So we can shift in uh, serial data into these registers and we will get out a total of 32 bits of parallel data, four bits is fed into each Nixie tube driver. Um, I put some bypass capacitors on it. Seemed like a good idea. And that's about it. So there's, there's kind of some room Back here it's a little bit bigger than the Raspberry Pi. So my plan is I'm going to take and redesign my high voltage power supply into a form factor that I can squeeze up in there. And then I will be able to fit all of this into one of my standard uh, Nixie Tube clock cases that I use for my other projects. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the little uh, Nixie Tube project. Please uh, check out my website for other Nixie 2 projects or Raspberry Pi projects, Parallax Propeller projects. It's at www.smbaker.com. That's www.smbaker.com.